Hello, Forest Hills Global. My name is Mrs. Buck, and I am a kindergarten teacher here at Forest Hills Global Elementary. This year, 2020-2021, is a very strange school year indeed. It's different in many ways, including the way that we're going to assess our students in their reading and writing. Normally, we would start the year getting to know our children, and then we would move into some beginning of year assessments. But this year, they're at home with you. So we need your help in providing these assessments at home. The assessment that New Hanover County School System has chosen this year is through iReady. So I'd like to share a little bit about iReady with you. iReady is an online diagnostic and learning program for reading and mathematics. The intent of the iReady diagnostic is to help identify the specific skills that each student needs to develop, identify each student's areas of strength, and measure academic growth throughout the school year. The diagnostic provides comprehensive insight into student learning across multiple domains in math and in the reading. In the reading domain, the tests will cover phonological awareness. That is the understanding that a spoken word is made up of different parts and that each of these parts makes a sound. It will also cover phonics. This instruction teaches children how to connect the sounds that they hear in spoken words to the letters that they see in written words. It will also assess high frequency words, vocabulary, or the words that your child knows, and comprehension in literature, which is fiction, and comprehension in informational text, which would be the nonfiction. The mathematics domain is going to cover areas in number and operations, and that's writing numbers, understanding how numbers work, algebraic and algebraic thinking, this is the problem solving piece with algorithms, measurement and data, and geometry. Forest Hills Global is going to ask that you help give these tests on these dates, so please mark your calendar. September 8th and 9th will be set aside for the reading diagnostic and September 10th and 11th will be set aside for the math. We are asking our students to take these initial iReady tests at home. We know this isn't a decision that has, is taken lightly. After careful consideration, we decided that this is the best way to get information about our students in, in a safe way. This information is critical to help inform our instruction and to serve our students well. The assessment is lengthy and it is expected to take place over the course of these few days. So we suggest setting a timer for perhaps 15 to 20 minutes and working on the diagnostic for that set amount of time and taking breaks in between. The program will pick up where you left off the next time that you sign in. The iReady tests are computer adaptive tests. Now, what that means is that they, these are not like a traditional test that you and I took when we were little. These tests start with reading and math questions that are on the student's grade level. And as the student answers them either correctly or incorrectly, the test will adapt to find the precise ability of your student. Some of the questions your child may think are pretty hard and some of them are gonna be pretty easy and some of them will be just right. But as your student answers the questions incorrectly, the test will get easier. And as the students answer the questions correctly, the test will get more difficult. iReady is going to tell us as teachers exactly what our students need next. The test is about serving your child the exact instruction that will help them grow to the next level in reading and math. We're going to use the data from the diagnostics to analyze the student's strengths and areas for growth. We're going to plan instruction that addresses this data and we're going to set goals with our students and help them engage in learning. We're also going to use the information to collaborate with our teams to best suit our grade level. Please know that this test is not for a grade. You will not see a report card sent home with grades on this test. Let your child know this as well. 50% of the questions will probably be correct by your child and then 50% 
your child will answer incorrect and this is how most of the students are going to perform. That's okay. We are just asking that they do their best. We're just using the program and the data to measure the growth of your child throughout the year and to help us to guide their instruction. So what can you do? Well, please do not help your student. We know that it's frustrating to watch your child struggle, but the best way for you to help is not to help at all. Naturally, we want our children to do well. However, when it comes to this diagnostic, we ask that you refrain from helping them answer any questions as this will skew the data that is used to drive our instruction. Your children need to find the answers all on their own. If you help your child, it may cause them to get personalized lessons that are above their grade level and therefore too challenging. So even if your child gets frustrated, you cannot help. It may give us misleading information. And then the teachers are going to use these results to guide our instruction and to organize small groups for differentiated lessons. And we want that to be accurate. This test is about what your child knows, not what you know. So please allow them to do the answering. What can you do to help us? We do need families help this year. It is critical for the iReady administration. If you'll go to the iReady website, i-readycentral.com, you can review the website for more tips and information. You can watch videos and read checklists that will help you prepare for the test. Give your child some tips to support their learning. Let them know that the test is not graded. They don't have to take it in a time, in a set time. They can take breaks, there's no hurry. There's no need to stress because this isn't going to determine their future. It's just going to help us to determine what they know and what they don't know to help us. So let them know that this test helped their teachers and please don't provide them with any help answering the questions. Let them know that this test is going to show us where they're doing well and which topics that we just need to review some more. And please emphasize to think before you click. If they are just clicking through, it will not give us an accurate report of what they know. So what can you do? This checklist I found on the iReady.com website, so it is available for you to print out. Before the diagnostic, let your child know the purpose of the test. The goal is not to get every question correct. Let them know that if anything feels too challenging, just to try your best and move on. And let them know it's not time. They should work on it in small 15 to 30 minute chunks. Make sure they've got what they need, a quiet, comfortable place, a device that's working with iReady, some headphones, good internet connection. Let them also have a paper and pencil handy if they would like to take any notes or help them to solve their math problems. So during the diagnostic, you are going to actively proctor this as an administrator would. Please pay close attention to the students as they progress, they make progress during this test and make sure that they are trying their best and not receiving any help. Anticipate some frustration and have some motivational ways of helping them to move along without helping them. You can use some of these phrases down below like, oh, it looks like you could use a quick break. Let's finish that question when you get back. Or, wow, that really looks like a tough question. Remember, if you don't know it, just give your best guess and move on. And then after the diagnostic is all over, you should celebrate. This is tough for little guys, especially when they haven't been in school for a while and they're going to reach some questions that really feel frustrating. So celebrate and let them know that they did a great job by getting through it. We really wanna work together with you this year to make sure that this diagnostic is completed on their own so that we know what your child needs to learn. This year we are facing unexpected challenges and having students take this iReady diagnostic at home is one of them. We would like to thank you in advance for providing the instruction or for helping us to get the information about your student that is going to help us plan and provide the instruction 
that will meet their unique needs. As with everything, we are in this together. We have confidence that you will support your students at home and monitor the tests with fidelity. That will give us high quality data as a result. Remember, this data will just help us get to know your students better and ensure that we're giving them what they need during this unique school year. So are you ready for iReady? Continue watching the next videos to help you learn how to log in and some more tips about taking the test at home. You are also welcome to explore the website i-ready.com slash families access at home for frequently asked questions, videos, and checklists, and anything else that you need to know. You are certainly welcome to send a dojo message to your teacher, and we'd be happy to answer your questions. So good luck with the test at home, and thank you so much for all that you do to support your students' learning.